Hello and welcome to the Beyond Six Seconds podcast. I'm your host, Carolyn Keel, and on today's episode, I'm speaking with Mary Borman. Mary is the first person with Down syndrome to attend the University of Arkansas in Fayetteville and the first person with Down syndrome to model in Northwest Arkansas Fashion Week. She's an ambassador for Down syndrome for the National Down Syndrome Society and in 2018 was named their self-advocate of the year. She has lobbied for disability rights and legislation in Washington, D.C. She speaks to organizations all over the U.S. about health, fitness, and nutrition for people with Down syndrome and helps others understand what it's like to have Down syndrome. Mary also swims competitively, both nationally and internationally. She's won gold medals at the Special Olympics National Games in swimming and paddleboarding, and medals at the International Down Syndrome Games in Canada in 2018. She will be representing the United States at the next International Games in Portugal in October 2022. Mary, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me. I know you're very busy right now getting ready for the the world championships in Portugal in October. We're recording this a few weeks before, and I'd love to talk about your swimming because you've been swimming for many, many years. So how did you get interested in, in swimming? Well, I started swimming since I was four years old, and I learned swimming really good. And my favorite stroke is backflip because I don't like to get my face all wet. In 2018, I went to Washington State, Seattle for the Special Olympics mm -hmm. and for Nationals. And I have won two silver medals for freestyle and bat. Wow. And I was fast enough to try out for the International Down Syndrome Swimming Organization World Games. I went to Canada like four years ago. And now I am getting ready to go to Portugal, which is fun. And I've been swimming for my whole life. Wow. That's great. That's got to be so exciting to travel and, and compete in these big games with all different people. That's really great. And four years ago in Canada, I had my women's relay team. And we did four by 200 freestyle and we got third and we're the third fastest in, in the world. Wow. That's awesome. That must take a lot of training and, and you've been swimming for it's almost your whole life. How old were you when you started swimming? I was four years old and then I started Special Olympics since I was nine. That's great. You started swimming so young. How did you decide that you wanted to actually compete in swimming? Well, lessons. My parents wanted me to like to get into swimming because it's a good life lesson yeah. as well. I went through swim lessons during the whole summer, and and I think I was interested because I've been doing it for a long time. And I just thought maybe I would swim. And you just kept swimming and getting better and stronger and faster with the swimming. That's that's really great. I follow you on your Instagram and I know you do, you train a lot for swimming. So you swim a lot, but you also, you've run and I know you do some strength training. What other kinds of physical training do you have to do to, to be able to swim like that? Well, I do cross training. I run downhill and uphill every day to to work. And I also swim twice a day. And I do strict training one day of the week. And I never stop training till Sunday, which is my day off, because I like to like recover and relax. Yeah. Wow. So that yeah, that's a lot of physical activity, but that's what it takes to be a competitive athlete. Oh, that's so cool. And you mentioned that you, you run to work and, and from work. And you work in an office, right, as a community manager? Yes. So I open the place up for people. So I make coffee, I turn on the lights, party up, I make so that when people come in, they will have their coffee and get everything to go. 
Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. So you you have a lot going on in your life. We we talked about your swimming, you have your job as the community manager, and you also do advocacy a lot for for people with Down syndrome. How did you get involved in and start doing advocacy? Well, every year, sometimes I usually go to Washington, D.C., and I get to talk to my centers and my, my representative and talk about the disability rights. So I talk about the ABLE Act, which have been passed, so that's good. It helps people to save money to go to college without losing their benefits. Mm -hmm. And now we're working on the Marriage Equality Act for disabled adults, so that when people get married, they don't need to like lose their social security. Mm -hmm. They get to keep their social security and help with their minimum wage mm -hmm. and our card to make sure that that I get to talk about that with them every time so we could get that so we get that passed through the Congress. That's great. It's important for our people in government to hear directly from the people who are impacted by laws like this. So that's great work that you're doing to help get those disability rights laws passed. And as part of your advocacy, you also speak about like health and fitness and nutrition for people with Down syndrome. How did you decide to focus on those topics and, and talk about them? Well, I also enjoy another thing, which is the Down syndrome convention. And I get to speak about health and nutrition and sleep because I want more people to know what, what I've been doing for my training so that I can help them do the same thing for their sport or whatever, whatever they are doing. I want them to be healthy and strong and I want them to be like me in a way. That's great. And do you talk to other athletes or you talk to not athletes or everybody? You have to talk to everyone about, about that. But also, I also talk about my life with that syndrome, tell them a story about my life and how, how it's been beneficial for me. And I want people to, to know who I am so that they can like know that they will have a story of their own. So I'm letting them know about my story, but also want to hear about their story because we all have different backgrounds and what we're doing every day. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, everybody has a story and all of our stories can inspire and move and motivate people to, you know, be healthier or just live their best lives. So that's great. That's great that you share more about your story. In terms of your your future goals, your hopes and dreams, you've done so much already. And what things would you like to do in the future? Well, I do my my very best to go to Portugal. I also did NWA Fashion Week, and that was a lot of fun. So I hope I get picked this year. I went to try out to go, and hopefully, I get to model for them because I love modeling. Also, I want to, I want to get married. I want to, I want to be adventurous. I love to travel, do fun things. Like I did parasailing. I did skydiving with my grandpa. It was so much fun. So I want to, I want to get a job, I want to get married, and I want to travel across the world and have a dog, mm -hmm. have pet animals as my babies, as my kids, because I don't want to have kids in, in my future. And I want my kids to be the pet animals. <laughs> yeah, those are great. Those are great, amazing goals. And you're obviously very adventurous. And wow, you, you skydived? W was that scary or were you excited about it? The first time I did it, it was so much fun. I felt good. And the second time I tried to do it, I got scared. So I don't know what happened. It just happens. Yes. 
I've never been skydiving. I'm afraid of heights, so I don't think I would do that. But I definitely admire people who, who go out there and try it and have a great experience. That's awesome. And also I get to travel, like you yeah. get to like go out of the country. Mm -hmm. Like I've been out of the country for a while. So I went to Europe, I went to Mexico, I went to South America and Peru. I went to England and France, and now I'm going to Portugal and Spain for the first time. So I'm super excited. That's awesome. Do you have a favorite country or place that you've traveled to? Well, my favorite place is South America, Peru, because that was a lot of fun. We get to like camp and walk, mm -hmm. and it was really pretty view. We went to Machu Picchu, wow. and it was gorgeous. I loved it, and I love actually not just that, but also I love every country that I go to because you get to experience new things. And that's great that you get to to see the country and and enjoy what's there. And you also mentioned that you, a couple years ago, you were in NWA Fashion Week, which is Northwest Arkansas Fashion Week yes. for our listeners. Yeah, that looks really fun. What's it like when you're at the modeling show? Yeah, it was fun. I'm basically like selling their clothing, what I'm wearing. I were well, Robert's era company, thousand in Park, Arkansas. And also I modeled for the Anna Grace Thermals and Rogers. And I get to try out their clothes and model for them. And I just felt good. I got to let people just see who I am, but also at the same time, see the clothes and maybe they can like go and and buy some stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's fun. And do you get to like interact with the other models there or meet people when you're doing that? Yeah. So before we get to like walk down and show people what clothes we're wearing backstage, mm -hmm. we get to get our makeup done, our makeup done, our hair done, our clothes to wear and I get to meet other meet other models and sometimes I get to talk to them about what they're doing exactly and stuff like that. Oh, that's really cool. It's just great ways to meet all different kinds of people, you know, through your modeling and, sw and with swimming, you must meet a lot of people and make a lot of friends with all the activities that you do as well. Yeah, I made some friends on the swim team, so it was great. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. Well, Mary, it's been great talking with you today and, and thank you for telling me all about all of the things that you're involved in. How can people get in touch with you if they want to learn more about your swimming, your advocacy, anything like that? I have an Instagram account. I also have a TikTok account. It's called Mermaid Mary Borman and it shows you all these different videos and pictures about what I do every day and videos. And also sometimes I have my own website. So it's meredithborman.com. They get to see that and get to see what I do. And that's how the people find me for stuff. Okay, that's great. I'll put links to your Instagram and TikTok and website in the show notes for this podcast so people can just click on it and, and find you that way. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mary, last question. Is there anything else that you'd like our listeners to know, or is there anything they can do to help or support you? Yeah, there's a message that I'd like to send to the community. I hope to aspire and support people with disabilities to go after their dreams and don't give up and want their, want their heart to show who, who they are as a person and make things happen for them. Try everything that is possible for you. Nothing is impossible. There's always something you can do. Thank you, Mary. Those are great words to end on. And thank you for all of your work to uplift and, and support 
everyone in the disability community and, and educate everyone about Down syndrome. Really great work you're doing. And thank you for being a guest on my show today. Thank you.